workshop talk, this time torsors over affine curves. Okay, bonjour. So, hello everybody. So, I'm continuing a bit the general theory uh, started yesterday, and then I switched to the board uh, to go to uh, the dicking rings and curves, okay? So, uh, so, so yesterday, uh, we were talking about the characteristic maps. So, we were given a, a monomorphism of, uh, so maybe, is, is, uh, wait. Uh, there is a problem here. No, no, this is okay. okay. Good. Uh, we, so we are given a, a monomorphism of, of group scheme. So uh, you can see G inside H. And uh, in good condition, uh, there, there is a, a R scheme H, which is a, a flat quotient of R H by G. I explained what I, yesterday what it is. And this is an important example of torsor. So in the lemma, first, uh, this, this map from H to X is a G torsor. And secondly, uh, we have an, exact, an important sequence of point and sets. Uh, so I repeat, this H1 uh, is a point and set. Uh, it's just marked by, by, by the trivial uh, G torsors. And the, the important thing in that sequence of point and sets is a map phi, which is called the characteristic map, and which is very simple to, to use, because since you know from the one that this map from H to X is a G torsor, Given a point x in x here, you, you can pull back the torso uh, along this point, and it gives you this f minus x inside h. Okay, and so that's the characteristic map. So, so you can think in terms of uh, cohomology or cocycle, but it's a, it's a geometric construction. Okay, so that sequence is really fundamental, and you know, it's, and uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to push the right arrow, okay? Well, and uh, we can say even more using this kind of, of, of maps, okay? So, uh, uh, so for, let me simplify, the, just discuss the affine case. Then actually you, you can think at the G torsor, okay? Over spec R to, 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 to a pair of two things, which is a H torsor and a point of the twisted guy, okay? So because in one way this is clear how you, how you, how you, how you make it, okay? So if you have a, if you have a, if you, if you have a G torsor, you, 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 you can extend it to H, okay? But, uh, and, and then it, 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 it will have a point. Uh, I mean, the twisted guy will have an obvious point, and conversely, it's enough. To, I mean, for 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 f uh, h torsor, the fact you can you can uh, find a reduction to g and a well-defined one depends just of the choice of an element x here. Okay, so we will see wait, examples. No, it's just twist. I, I explained yesterday. So you take a cocycle and you, you do this, this descent thing. Ah, okay. okay? So, so we'll see examples uh, uh, right now of this. <laughs> uh, so today is. is uh, so let me do like that. Uh, okay, so I. Bon, I and so the first example is this one. Uh, the, this is a sequence uh, SLR, GLR, GM. So this is, GM is an example of, of, uh, of, of flat quotient. I mean, this is very easy, but it's, it's important to see like that. And uh, using the extended Swan square correspondence, an example uh, is that the category of SL torsor is equivalent to the category of GLR torsor plus a, tri a trivialization of GM, right? Of, of what you get over GM. So, so namely, maybe that's maybe something you know. So to give an SLR torsor is to give uh, uh, a locally free uh, uh, module of rank R together with the trivialization of its determinant. So that, that kind of, uh, of, of correspondence is, is very uh, useful. And uh, 
So another example of sequence, so again, this is a sequence of groups. And this is what we have uh, done yesterday a bit with, with, with an integer D. So you have the so-called Kummer sequence. So what happens is that the small GM is a quotient, I mean, the right GM is a quotient of the middle GM by the action of the mu D, the roots of unity. So, and, and then once you have that, you, 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 you Uh, the, you, you have that the category of mu detorsors is equivalent to the category of pairs m theta, where m is an invertible error model and a trivialization of, of that. Okay, so, and if you remember, uh, we recover that this H1 R mu d is a group ID, year, ID of R I described naively yesterday. It's really what we want. Okay, so, uh, so now I come to, to, to more. Uh, subtle things. Uh, so we were working with flat covers because they are easier to, to, to define and also more general. Uh, but we can, we can be uh, time to time uh, finer by using etal things. And so uh, an etal morphism of rings, okay, is a smooth morphism of a relative dimension zero. You can find that in Mill's book, okay. And, uh, bon, and so there are, uh, uh, there are, Other definitions, if you, if you don't like that. Okay, so one is to say that S is a, is a flat air model, so that each time you, you, you go to a field, okay, F, this is an etal F algebra. So, and so that's a way to express, if you want, the, 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 the smoothness by this five hours uh, criterion. Okay, so, okay. And so, example of etal morphism, of course, a, a localization morphism is, is etal. And the Kummer morphism, which is very important, is etal, provided D is invertible. Okay, so you, you just look for smoothness, you use the differential criterion. Okay, when you derive G, this T power things, okay, you find D. Okay, so if D is invertible, you win. It's a, it's a, you, you, you get a, an isomorphism at the level of, 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 the, of the tangent space. If D is zero, uh, your differential is, is, is not, uh, I mean, is zero, and then it's not eta, okay? And uh, so that explains that once you deal with, uh, when you deal with characteristic P issues and with D is P, uh, you, 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 you need to, I mean, the, the etal setting is not the right one. You, you have to, 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 to use uh, the flat one, okay? Well, so, Uh, uh, when the, we, we look at torsors in, in general, so not even for, uh, for flat group schemes, okay, so you can look at torsors for flat group schemes, but today I'm interested to, with smooth group schemes, okay, and inside the torsors, uh, uh, so is there, there is no change, okay, uh, so both are with no change. So in, Well, you, you can look at, at subclass of G torsor, which are those uh, having, uh, which are locally trivial for etal. Okay, so we have seen uh, things which are locally trivial for Zariski, but you have things locally trivial for etal. And you, you can define similarly the, the, the church uh, object. And the proposition is that if G is so affine to simplify is smooth, then actually uh, the etal are everything. The, 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 so in other words, if you are given a G torsor, uh, in G is smooth, then it is locally trivial for etal topology. And uh, so uh, I, I will sketch the proof. So he, of course, I use uh, some, some, some ba background of, uh, of algebraic geometry. So the, the, key, thing, the, key, the key point is, are these so-called uh, uh, Permanence property by, by Grothendieck for, for this faithfully flat descent things. And so, we, I mean, if, if we can abstract it by saying that smoothness is a local property with respect to flat topology. Okay? So, then to check smoothness, you, 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 you are allowed to make a, a faithfully flat base change. And so, it's, it's what we do. So, because uh, uh, we, we trivialize our torso and <laughs> And then the torso, when you, after some, some uh, faithfully attached by it is G, but G was smooth, so you win, okay? 
uh, so no, no, you don't win. You, you just know that it's smooth. But then once, once you know that uh, a scheme is smooth uh, over something, so there is an important result uh, also in EGA, which tells you that uh, it's called the quasi-section theorem, that actually you, you, you can find uh, points uh, uh, locally with respect to etal topology. And um, uh, okay, so so an example uh, has been uh, <laughs> seen yesterday uh, in, in the problem session. Okay, so we did not prove that the orthogonal group scheme O two n is smooth. Okay, so that's uh, that's something to do. I mean, you you can uh, it's not as easy. I mean, you can look at a Conrad, for example, uh, not so, uh, and. So the only problem is characteristic two, okay? But it, it's smooth, and then it follows that the O two n torsors are trivial with respect to the etal topology, okay? Huh? And 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 we have seen yesterday that what is a O two n torsor? This is nothing but a quadratic air bundle huh, of rank two n, and so in conclusion, a quadratic air bundle of rank two n always become hyperbolic after some etal base change. And yesterday in the problem session, you have seen the, this was true in the flat thing, okay? And if you want to make it, I mean, we, using a, a quadratic forms of a rings in the etals setting, you, you have to be clever, okay? To use some, some knowledge on quadratic forms. So I, I like that because it tells you, I mean, the general Cotendic framework just kills essentially any exercise, okay? <laughs> Okay, so, so there is another class of torsors which are even better than locally trivial for etals. They are called isotrivial. And because when I say locally etal, okay, I, I, do, I do not ask the torsor to, to be trivialized by a finite etal. So those, uh, we will see in one second, but those which are, uh, uh, which are isotrivial are, uh, are uh, when, when you, you, you can uh, uh, you, you can trivialize your torsor after a finite etal base change. And, and so it's convenient when, when you do this that is, is, is to, I mean, to take the ideal situation of a, of a Galois air algebra S with group gamma, okay? And then uh, when, when you look at the, at this, uh, at the torsor which are split by this S, you enter in the, in the world of Galois cohomology. So maybe that's the thing you started with, I mean, with a, you know, Galois cohomology by say, okay? So what I'm saying is that uh, you, when you do this kind of S tensor S, okay, and S gamma, which, is, which come from the general uh, theory, you, you are doing actually, the, the, you are recovering the, 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 the Galois cohomology uh, definitions, uh, okay? Ah, S gamma, because if I, the problem is, if, if I write like that, you, okay, you, you might think this is a, a non-variant, okay? So then I made S times S gamma times, okay? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, and so when, when you write Using that isomorphism, what is a, what what means for a cycles? Okay, when when you use it, what what you get, uh, you get a, a cycle. So namely, an element in, in G of uh, S tensor S uh, over R. So this is nothing but a collection of of element of G S indexed by gamma, and of course you have the cycle relation. And if you if you do it properly, okay, uh, then uh, you you with the right identification, you get the, 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 co the usual co-cycle relation in this lemma, okay? And, uh, and then, uh, of course, you have to take into account that you have an action of gamma of GS, which is a natural one. Okay, so, so this is a, the Galois cohomology things. And, and then for, for this cover, this Galois cover, we find that this Z1 is a set of Galois co-cycle, and the relation is exactly what you may think. Okay, this is the same relation that you, you, you are. Okay, so, so then you, you, we find Galois cohomology. And an no, what I'm doing, I'm doing, I specialize to the case when G is constant, okay? 
So namely, you are, you are interested in, a, in Galois cover for, 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 for this group G. So, and in this case, uh, the, the, you know, so you have essentially no actions. So, so cross, crossed homomorphism, so this gamma call, can be also called kind of cross homomorphism, have to be homomorphism. And then it follows that the, the, the Z one is nothing but the ohm. Okay, so you have to be a bit careful to, uh, with, with, with the S. Okay, so you might have connected components, right? Huh? And uh, so if R is connected, okay, so the Z one is, is exactly the, the ohm of R group, uh, actually the ohm of, uh, of groups between Sorry for this air group. This is just ohm of group between this gamma and theta, which is associated to G. And what you recover is that, is, is that this H1, uh, oh. cohomological, this is the ohm modulo uh, homomorphism, uh, modulo conjugacy. I mean, so th that's a way to, to think about Galois theory. Okay, so that was an example. Well, and then, of course, you can, you can, you can, uh, if you remember all this uh, complicated thing yesterday about, uh, about uh, descent, faithfully flat descent, if you specialize to the case uh, we are dealing here, what you get is a, the, uh, is, is, uh, is a usual Galois descent, okay? So what is usual Galois descent? Uh, is that the, the category of air model, this is equivalent to the category of, uh, of S model equipped with with an extra data, which is a descent data, but this descent data, you, you can write, you can interpret it in, uh, with the data of some row, which is called a semilinear action, okay? So it satisfies this rule, okay? It's, 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 a, it's a, it, 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 it is, you have a, I mean, if we, when we know sigma, it will be linear, but there is a sigma, and, and, the, and this dictionary, as you know, you, how, you, how you get the, the descended object, you just take the fixed point under this linear action, okay? So, okay, so uh, that, that's, uh, that's everything for, for the general framework. So that's uh, the, the moment to ask questions before uh, I embark in, uh, in the decking rings. Questions? <laughs> okay. Okay, I have to install myself. So could you cut that, please? <laughs> but smoothly, huh, because you... No. No, it's wrong. Okay. Where are the, the good ones? No, 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 but this one is really big. The Japanese one. Where? Everybody sees except me, yeah? Oh, let me do that. Uh, okay, so, so we, so we come back. Okay, oh, it works. To the to the Dudikin case, we, we we had a glance with the SLN, so we will do more general. Okay, so R is Dudikin, so no everybody. Okay, and I I denote by R zero. And this is so, some some localization of it, and uh, and I look at uh, at the complement uh, of that, and so you have finally finally many prime ideals, so maximal ideals, and uh, as you know, so a K is a frac, uh, the fraction of thing. And for each i, each pi, so define a valuation vi on this field, 
Okay, and then we can we can complete so KVI, so it gives you a completion and also to uh, to uh, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a ring uh, valuation ring. Okay, so uh, and then uh, uh, I mean so no G of uh, R is a, say a fine flat group scheme. And I'm interested uh, uh, in, in, in what? So in torsors in G, which have the way to express that a torsor as a section uh, is trivial on R0 and on SVI. It's, it's just to write this kernel thing, OK? So I'm interested in that. So. And then what we have done for SLN, we, we can make it here, OK? So by, by taking, uh, I mean, a torso and local trivialization, we, we can, we, I mean, we can make a class map, which is a harder class map, which go to the, so, uh, so let me call this set sigma annotation. So. And we take this product, we take the completion, we mod out by that, and here we mod out by the G naught. OK? And, and it's, it's not hard to see that, that the, this, uh, this map here is, uh, is injective. So you, when you do these co-cycles, even with this completed thing, you are not losing any information. So uh, a side remark is, is that you can be interested in the subjectivity of this map. OK, it's a beyond a bit the, sc the scope of this lecture. But uh, you can, it's, it's, this is true, so this map. So. The map is. Uh, uh, is on two. Uh, this, so this is not, uh, you have to be careful. Uh, this is, the reason why this is beyond this, the, the scope of this lecture is, uh, is that it, it, is, it is not a really flat descent. This is, it looks a bit like flat descent, but it's not. This is so called patching. Okay, so I think uh, next week, uh, Danny Krashen is going to, to talk about patching. Okay, so patching can, is very useful for torsors, I, I will see. But today I'm interested just on that. And the, the important thing is that, of course, if, if this set uh, is trivial, then that set is trivial. And there is an important case when we, 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 we can declare, okay, so let me, uh, so if G of U0 is dense, so in these things, so, uh, so this GKVI, okay, the, the G, G is uh, affine, so you can embed it, uh, you can always embed it in some GLN, okay, and, and then GLN of KV as a topology, right? And, and so you can equip uh, G of KV with that topology, and it doesn't depend of, of the embedding you have chosen. So those things are topological group, right? Okay. And if it's dense, okay, what happens is that those guys here are open here. So, so when, when open plus dense is everything, okay? Then the, the, this kernel here is trivial. So this is uh, the viewpoint of Arder in 1967. Uh, yes, please. Exactly, but my, this cover, this cover. Okay, okay, that's a very good question. This this cover is not a flat cover in my sense. 
Because, no, but that's, that's an important question. Because if you take K, T, localized at T, okay, for a field, okay, you, you can look at that, right? So this is a fast fully flat, co this is a fast fully flat uh, morphism ring. So that's a fact of commutative drop, but not finitely presented. Okay, so I work uh, for convenience with finitely presented things. And, uh, and it works anyway. Yeah, okay, it makes sense. But just a, a, a comment, okay, uh, the reason why I, I prefer to work with not, uh, with, with uh, finite presented things is just because they are, they are done to air things. I don't know uh, to say that. So for example, one thing I did not say is when you want to shifify for flat topology. So if you, if you, if you stay in the finitely, finitely presented world, everything go very well. If you start to play with more, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are things you, you have to be really, uh, you have to pay attention about, about uh, you know, set theoretical issues and, okay. Okay, so, now, of course, you know much better than myself this kind of, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but actually in the notes, uh, I explain that. So, you have to look at a paper of water hose <laughs> to, to see, uh, I mean, the kind of contradiction you, 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 can, you can find. Okay, so, and so, Remember, for SLM, there was a case, and, and the, so, so we say, so that thing is called strong approximation, okay? Okay. But now, uh, I, 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 fo I focus to, to, to a very nice... Uh, uh, so ah, is one, sorry. Thank you. Uh, then uh, uh, I go now to, to, to a very uh, a special case, okay, which is a case, so no. The case of a split Chevalet group, air group scheme. So, uh, so, so, uh, so, EG, uh, GLN, uh, SP2N, uh, PGLN. Uh. Okay, so, so they are the, 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 the nicest uh, possible uh, groups. Okay, uh, and then when you have a G like that, it, it contains. Bowell, so over R, okay, and, and, and a split torus GM, say, uh, R, uh, inside, okay? So, so the Bowell is something like that, and the torus is something like that. Oh, and I, I will need also this B, it expresses like that, it's a semi direct product, or U, is so-called the, the unipotent radical. And, and the very nice things about, uh, about those uh, group schemes, they are defined universally. So they, they, they are defined over Z, right? Okay. And then the, 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 the proposition, so there, there are two, two statements. The first one is that once R, so I wrote is PPF, but it's a T, you know, you see, this is a split, so this is just R copies of R. This map here maps on, on H1 RG, and we, we say rationally tri trivial torsors. Okay, so I look at torsors having a point generically. So what I'm saying, is that they all come from, from the torus, okay, so. And if, if G is furthermore, is semi-simple, so I will explain what that terminology, simply connected, 
actually, this map here is, is trivial. We have So, of course, if you, so, so semi simple, okay, means that the, the for a reductive, I mean, just overfill, okay, uh, reductive means uh, affine, smooth, connected, and with trivial geometric unipotent radical, okay, and that, that thing goes uh, over schemes uh, just by taking affine growth scheme, which is fiber wise reductive in the sun, I said. So you can do the same, same thing with semi-simple. Semi-simple, the difference between semi-simple and, and reductive is that semi-simple, you, you, you ask, for example, the group to be the, the own derived group. So it, it, cannot, it cannot have any interesting uh, co 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 quotients of torus or any central torus is going, is going to be trivial. So as semi-simple. The, the, so that people, so all those things are, all those groups here are reductive. SP is semi-simple, PGN and SP is simple, okay? Uh, the, the, the issue is, is, is more complicated with simply connected because simply connected uh, is in the algebraic group sense. Also. So, uh, so it's not, so fortunately it coincides with simply connected uh, for topology when you take the complex number, for example. So SLNC, okay, I think everybody knows that here, SLNC is a simply connected uh, topological space, right? And then using the comparison theorem we, we, we have seen, this, this, when you see it at, at the algebraic uh, variety, this, this is simply connected. So, so Characteristic zero, this, uh, this terminology works. Characteristic P, uh, you, you have to refine it uh, a bit. So, uh, but anyway, so SLN is simply semi-simple, simply connected, but PGLN is not. Okay. So, uh, and so, uh, well, so I, I, of course, I, I'm, I'm going no uh, until now. I did not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I was not too sketchy, so I, 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 so the, the proof, but it, it's a, really a sketch of, of one. So what you do, you, you, are, you are given, okay, so let E be a J torso, and your, your assumption such that you, you assume that it, has a, it is trivial over, it is like that. Okay, so what you can do, you, you can look at G mod B. So G mod B is a, is a flat, I mean, it's, it's a, uh, is a flat caution. So is a projective air scheme. So uh, for example, if you take GLN, this is a scheme of, uh, of complete flux, right? And, and then, uh, because it's projective and so on, I, 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 can, I can twist it. So uh, we, we, we can twist it. Okay, so the notation is called like that, but by that I mean G mod B twisted by E in the sense I said, okay? And it's still a scheme, and not only it's a scheme, but it's a projective air scheme. And so call it X. Yes, but you know, it, when you, I have this, uh, I'm in dimension one, okay? So in dimension one, we have this uh, valuative criterion of properness, which tells me that X of R, this is nothing but X of K. Okay? And then, since this one is not empty because the, the, the torso is trivial generically, I have an R point. Okay, but if you remember uh, one of the consequences of, of the exact sequence, you know, uh, with characteristic map, okay, using a so-called reduction criterion, it tells me, it follows, that my torso E belongs in the image of H1 ARB 
H1RG. So in other words, it admits a reduction to the Borel. And the Borel, as I said, uh, is, a, is, a, is, is nice huh, because we are in the split case. So it's a, it's a semi-direct product of, of U and T. But this U is, is very nice. Uh, this U admits a U admits a filtration, which is T uh, equivalent. Uh, and so U0 is 1, U1, and UN is U, such that UI over UI minus 1 is is some uh, uh, some power of the affine groups, and so what happened? Uh, well, so there is a because of that. Okay, what happened is that when you look at the map R from R B, so here, uh, so F P P F or whatever, to which goes to the torus. This is. Uh, this is uh, a bijective. Okay, so what is, is easy to say this is injective. I mean, this is, it has trivial kernel, and because what happened is that because of these divisage things, H, we have seen yesterday that H1R of, 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 uh, of a career on things is zero. Okay, so this is what goes there. Okay, so, and then of course, this map is split, okay? Then when, when I put this fact together with this one, okay, I find this is what I wanted. Okay, so this is so it comes from torus. So what is and so when is semi-simple when the second thing when G is semi-simple CP connected, this is a place where I, I will I will use strong approximation. And the argument for strong approximation is exactly the same. Uh, for this general G that it, it was for the SLN case. So let, let me, no, I can erase the statement. So what happened for a G, a G split group, okay? So I, I had my B and T, and so I can look at this B minus, which is opposite parabolic. Opposite Borel. And so this one, a B is U T and uh, B minus, this is U minus T. And the, the, the fact is that exactly like for SLN, when you, you take, a, actually this is true for any field, since this is split, and, and, and again, G is semi simple, simply connected. It is generated by, by, by those guys. Okay. And now, what I do, uh, in, and then this thing implies the strong approximation, so namely that the G of RF is dense in that thing. Okay, because Basically, you are reduced just to approximate elements like that, okay, which, which, are, which are a kind of one parameter group. And then you use, for those groups, the, the, this additive group, you use the strong approximation uh, result, okay? And, and uh, so what, you know, the, okay, so in other words, so, so, uh, so this, this thing, is, I, I guess this is due to Steinberg. Uh, in other words, uh, strong approximation holds uh, always for, uh, for semi-simple split groups, okay? And, uh, and uh, what I can say is that if you, if, I mean, you could try to prove directly that uh, <laughs> this map is trivial, and, uh, uh, well, but uh, actually there is a way, okay? Which is which is to to reduce to the SL2 case, 
and to and to I mean to use the basic fact of algebra. I mean you, you are not okay. I prefer to use the, the big tools instead the the the, the basic thing. But uh, it is what we have and it's what we need for going further to uh, algebraic curves. So now I, I, I really enter in the topic. So a special case of the Dicking ring. This is a uh, algebraic curve, right? So and then we have this proposition, so uh, so we which is K. Uh, is the algebraic closed field. You take G or K, uh, semi simple, so it's not, be careful, huh? not reductive, but semi simple, but not, necessar not necessarily simply connected. Uh, algebraic group over K. So the fact the, the field is algebraic closed will uh, imply. Uh, that G is split, so uh, then the, I, 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 will, I will be able to use uh, my statements. Okay, then, yeah, so I did not say, say. I find smooth curve, I find, huh? okay. then H1, if PPF, but A times are the same thing of this C and G, this vanishes. Okay, so, so there is no, all torsors, uh, even for, uh, vanish. So to apply my results, okay, uh, uh, I, I reset it, but remember, the result was, was about the kernel, uh, about rationally trivial torsors, the trivial, the torsor becoming trivial at, at the at the, uh, at the at the generic point, and the generic point here. This is a, what is the generic point? So, uh, the generic point is K of C, and here we have a, the so-called same theorem. says that K of C is a C1 field. So what does it mean? It means each time uh, you take a, 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 a polynomial uh, of degree n with n plus 1 variable, a homogeneous uh, polynomial of degree n with n plus 1 variable, you have a non-trivial zero in that field. Okay, so this is elementary, but this is crucial. So, so la, 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 like that, so what you find in, uh, by Serre, okay, that this field KC has co-dimension, co it, it has cohomological dimension one, okay? So that thing implies, for example, that Bro group is, it vanishes. Well, that's not enough, okay? So, uh, so because this uh, cohomological dimension thing, it's about you know Galois cohomology, okay? So, so we, we need to relate with a, with a non-Abelian thing, and uh, yes, and so and the, the, the connection is given by. Uh, so let me state. I mean, uh, this is Steinberg theorem. Okay, so I, I state it just in the split case. Huh? And so F, you take F a field, you take H over F a reduc reductive or semi-simple split or quasi-split if you want. Mm -hmm. Then we know that the Galois cohomology of F of, of this G H, it is covered by the, the Galois cohomology class where T are the maximal tori in H. And then 
uh, as corollary, if CD of F is last one, okay, then we know that the H1 of any torus is zero because of this cohomological dimension fact, okay? And then uh, it implies that H1 F H is trivial. All tori, yes, all tori, yes. No, because of course, the split torus <laughs> we, we will not contribute to anything because this Galois cohomology is trivial, right? Yeah. yeah okay. And let me just say that a difficulty of the topic <laughs> of Galois cohomology is that we don't have a statement like that in general. We just have it for split and quasi-split. And also for very, I mean, time to time we have, okay, but there is, no, Steinberg is really, uh, and, uh, and then, of course, using that ingredient, I win, okay? Because uh, it follows, mm -hmm. in my situation, that H1 Kc of G is trivial, okay? And then, uh, by Stenberg, so... So, I mean, this is really an illustration that Galois cohomology, okay, this is a salt mal viewpoint. Galois cohomology is, is, is etal or flat cohomology at the generic point, okay? <laughs> okay. So, uh, and then, uh, so this proof, uh, okay, so, so uh, le, le, uh, uh, so now I can proof of the proposition. Okay, so the, so let me, so first, assume first G is semi-simple, simply connected, okay? Then uh, I can use uh, the statement I wrote before, okay? Then uh, 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 since G is split and, and uh, uh, I mean, H1, CG is, is nothing but this kernel, okay? And this thing is one, okay? By the, the I mean, the previous statement on the Gedeke. What takes more technical, what is, I mean, real, much more complicated actually, is, is to, to go to, 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 to the general case, okay? To, to the case of, uh, to the case of uh, uh, when G is not simply connected. So in this so general case, and so what we do, we consider the, the so-called simply connected cover. So some, it's something like that is G tilde, G, so, okay, so, and where mu is something like that, it's a product of mu uh, and G, uh, it's, a, it's a diagonal is a group. Okay, so, an exam example, okay, so if you take mu n, SLN, PGLN, okay? So this anisogeny, okay? So this is, this is a finite morphism. And then I can take tori, okay? So I have my, call it F. So I have my FA, FG, and I can take compatible Split tori, so it's split. This is GMR. This is also GMR. And actually, the, it's, it's a, it, it has the same kernel, okay? So what I can do, I can, I can look at co-characters. When I take co-characters, I, I, I have a, this tilde, say, a, 
notation may be that. So this is Z R. And here we have a matrix A. Because this is Z R2. And A is, so A is a matrix which is in GLR of Q. And because this thing here is an isogeny, and to, to say this is an isogeny, it's just to say that when you tensor this map with Q, this is invertible. Okay? So, so A, A is, a, is an integral matrix, but uh, it is not invertible as an integral matrix. It's, it's in the, okay. Okay. So now I need to appeal to, 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 to Jacobians, okay? Because uh, I, I draw first the, 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 the diagram I need, okay? So the, the diagram we consider is, is the following, okay? So uh, we, we, we have seen that this H1C of G tilde is one, okay? Uh, we have this H1 C uh, of G because of the previous statement. We know that this thing is on two. Okay? So here, this is H1 R uh, tilde, but it I write it as one. So I know this is one. So that, that's what I know. Okay? So this is from the, from the previous statement. Okay, and I, I write explicitly wh what is this map. So, so this thing is nothing but peak of C power R. Here I have my matrix A, and here I have peak R, R. Peak C, sorry. Okay. Yes, but there is a fact you have already seen last week in the Bert Totaro lecture, is that the Picard group of an affine curve is divisible. Maybe you remember, it was one week ago exactly. So the claim, and uh, I mean, Totaro was just for the elliptic curve. You remember the, the, that picture? <laughs> okay, peak, peak of C is divisible, okay? Well, so I, I will explain the claim in, in one second, but uh, the claim and the proof, because if it's divisible, okay, then I have color, this map here is going to be on two, okay? Huh? Because A is invertible in G and Q, okay? So then my, no, so this is by divisibility, Okay, and then what happens is, is that I take a guy here, I want to, so I take a class here. I know it comes from here, it comes from here, but it comes from here. But when I go that way, I win, okay? And, and of course, to know that uh, is more than an exercise of the geometry. You, you need to know uh, uh, the theory of, 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 of Jacobian curves, okay? So what, what you do, you, 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 you compactify your curve, yeah, I'm on time. This is a kind of kind of miracle. Yeah, yeah I know, no, this is just so you take a compactification. Okay. So wh wh what happens is that the, the, the Picard group of, of the compactification, a uh, uh, smooth, huh, of course, huh, maps onto the, the Picard group of C, okay, but that one, we know exactly how it looks. Uh, of course, I did not say, uh, my, my curve is connect, okay, it's connected. So here, I, I have the points, the, which are, I mean, the close points which are, which are outside, they contribute here, okay, so this is zero. 
But this peak C, it has a degree map. And here, the kernel is a, is a, is a Jacobian variety. Okay. So the kernel is GC C of or field K. So, so, thi so this is a Jacobian variety. Okay, and this is the point R divisible, right? Because the, the field, of course, is, is algebraic closed. Yes, but my, core, my curve is affine. So I, I, this, I, have, I have at least one rational point here. So this map here is on two, okay? So, so when, when, you, when you do a, a, a diagram chaise, okay? You, you find that peaks, this map here is, 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 uh, must be uh, my chaise, chasing. Uh, maybe this is not the place I. So then I can run. I do a diagram chaise in this. Uh, so maybe there is a, an official name, I mean, uh, for this kind of. Uh, <laughs> Ah, no, 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 no. People like to put them. Okay, so G C of K maps onto that. So again, Totaro was just the case uh, of one, uh, the, I mean, elliptic curve minus one point, okay? So, in, and so if you just remove one point, this is even an isomorphism, okay? But a quotient of a divisible uh, is divisible, okay? So I, I end the proof of the proposition, which, which is a very important, uh, I mean, this statement is used uh, by many people, okay? And uh, it tells you in practice, okay? So if you want to look at a torsor over uh, P1, over, uh, over, uh, over uh, co a complete curve, okay? But you, you uh, with, uh, with over an algebraic closed field, okay? You, you can always take two, two to have fines covering uh, the curve and, and play with co-cycle with just a cover with two pieces, which is very convenient, okay? And also, if you go beyond, you can go to affine Grassmannian just to remove one point to complete a bit, okay? So, so this is really in, in high way what I'm talking about. So an important case for me, and I think for homotopic people, okay, this is, uh, I mean, the corollary, okay? This is just a case of the affine line Uh, on the, of course, K is K bar. So the affine line, uh, so we have an homotopy, <laughs> homotopy statement with that. So tomorrow, uh, that, that will be the, the about, will be the abutment of, of the lectures. So I will take about H1, A1K of a semi-simple or reductive group when K is not algebraic closed. And this is much more complicated as we will see, but still uh, tractable. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? <laughs>